Our tutorial for today is about algebraic fractions. But before we go into that topic, let's go over the numeric fractions. The principle behind adding or subtracting numeric fractions is that we have to find a common denominator before we could add or subtract the numerators. Let's look at these two pizzas. I divided these two pizzas into four equal parts. Then I ate one portion of the first pizza, so that's one quarter. For the second pizza, I ate two parts of it, so that's two quarters. Altogether, I ate three quarters of these two pizzas. So what we did there, we just copied the common denominator and add or subtract the numerators. In this case, we added the numerators 1 and 2 gives us 3. So what about if we have different denominators? What shall we do? If you have two fifths minus one third, so find the common denominator because the denominator will tell you exactly how many equal parts your whole has been divided into. That's the rule. So we need to make them the same so that you can add or subtract the numerators. Five times three will give you 15. To find the numerator, so what you did to the denominator, you do the same to the numerator. So if you multiplied five by three, you do the same to the numerator. 2 times 3 will give you 6. And do with the other fraction as well. If you multiply 3 by 5, you multiply the numerator 1 by 5 as well, which will give you 5. So 6 minus 5 will give you 1 over the common denominator of 15. So that is for our numeric fractions. Now, let us go back to the algebraic fractions this time. It was going to involve letters being algebra. So, for example, for the first, uh, our first example, you have 3 over A minus 2 over C. As in the numeric fractions, we're going to multiply both the denominators. A times C will give you AC. Then cross multiply 3 times C, which will give you 3C. And multiply A times 2, which will give you 2A. And that is our answer. Or you could rearrange it to have 2A plus 3c over ac. So either of those could be right. So if for our second um, second example, we have 1 over 4x plus 2 over 3y. Multiply the denominators again to find the common denominator. 4x times so you have 4x times 3y. 4 times 3 gives you 12. x times y will give you xy. Cross multiplying, 1 times 3y is 3y. Plus 2 times 4x will give you 8x. And just copy the 12xy. Now we go to a little bit more complicated uh, algebraic fractions. We're going to have this time an expression as a denominator. So you have x plus 7 for the first fraction and 1 over x plus 2 for the second algebraic fraction. As before, multiply both denominators. So you have x plus 7 times x plus 2. Everything underneath or over the, the uh, fraction sign will be considered one term. So you cross multiply x plus 2 times 1 and minus 1 times x plus 7 expanding and simplifying so you take out the brackets this time x plus 2 if you're for the second um, brackets there if you have a negative outside your bracket when you expand it everything all the sign inside that bracket will change because you have a negative times x it will give you negative x negative times 7 negative se will give you negative 7 all over the common denominator you don't need to expand this denominator leave it as that now you're going to simplify the numerator x minus x cancels out 2 minus 7 gives you a negative 5 all over the common denominators of x plus 7 times x plus 2 so that is all, all uh, you need about the adding and subtracting of algebraic fractions. Now it is your turn. 
to do some exercises for yourself and we have two questions here i want you to work this out press the pause button and when you finish press play again so you can see the answers so hopefully you finish your working out and we're gonna work this out together so multiply the both denominators 7x times 2y and cross multiplying 2y times 5 you have 5 times 2y plus 3 times 7x expanding and simplifying 5 times 2y will give you 10y plus 3 times 7x is 21x so multiply uh, the denominators combining them together 7 times 2 will give you 14xy now for the second question we're going to multiply the two denominators again to find the common denominator x plus 3 times x plus 5 cross multiplying x plus 5 times 1 give you x plus 5 minus don't forget the sign 1 times x plus 3 expanding the brackets we have x plus 5 minus x minus 3 all over the common denominator and simplifying the again x minus x cancels out x 5 minus 3 gives you 2 all over the common denominator of x plus 5 i've got i hope you got your answers right and i hope you enjoyed this little video thank you for watching